Hello, my name is Lori Elke. I'm an artist and illustrator and an art teacher. And I love sharing my art on YouTube with anyone who wants to do some art with me. Today I wanted to share with you a way that I protect my watercolor and gouache paintings, especially if I don't want to put them behind glass. So I have made four paintings on what's called watercolor canvas panels. You can see it on the back. It's something that I get from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's called Master's Touch Watercolor Canvas Panels. And I have four of these that I have recently painted. And these are all done in gouache, but they could be in watercolor as well. And sometimes it's nice to not have to put your paintings behind glass. So instead just putting a frame around them and having them uh, framed just like you would an acrylic painting or an oil painting. So I have these four paintings that are ready to be protected. They're all on this watercolor canvas panel and I am going to show you the steps that I take to making sure that they're protected enough that you don't even need to frame them behind glass. Okay, so get ready and I will share with you that process. So I have my four paintings laid out on my table and the first step is to spray a varnish on my paintings. Now this is a Krylon varnish, it's UV protectant so it keeps it um, safe if, it's, if the paintings would be anywhere near sunlight, it kind of helps protect against the UV rays and you can pick different kinds of varnish. Some of them can add kind of like a, a sheer gloss type thing, but this one says that it gives non-yellowing protection to any oil, acrylic, or watercolor paintings. Its museum quality varnish is highly resistant to discoloration and offers superior clarity and durability. So it says that you're supposed to use it in a well-ventilated area and you're supposed to shake it for two minutes, which I did before recording this and then you're supposed to spray it about 10 to 12 inches from the surface of the paintings. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and lightly spray all these paintings and it says it's better to do a couple thin coats as opposed to like really thick coats right away. So sometimes I'll do this maybe two or three times just to get a nice coverage on my paintings. I'm going to go ahead and spray about 10 to 12 inches away. And you want to do this in a well ventilated area because it does have a nice strong smell to it. And then it also has specific temperature that you're supposed to do it in. I'm just doing it in my basement. It's a nice open area in my house. My kids aren't home, so the smell should hopefully kind of evaporate by the time that they are around again. But I'm gonna go ahead and just let that dry. It says dries in 15 minutes, so I can just leave it for 15 minutes to dry and then I'll do another coat. So I've gone ahead and sprayed these three times and I waited 15 minutes in between each time so that they could dry. I've also waited again after that to make sure that they are ready to be handled. So they are dry, there's a little bit of a sheen to them from the spray and hopefully they are protected now from getting yellow. So the next step is to add some wax and I am using what's called Dorland's Wax Medium. Um, this is something that I bought online, I believe from one of the art stores like Blick. I also have ready a hair dryer because I use this in the process as well. So what I'm going to do is make sure my hands are clean. So I just washed my hands and now I'm just going to take my fingers and I'm going to grab a bunch of wax on my fingers. And all I'm going to do is kind of start throwing it on my picture here. And once I've got a good chunk going, I like to work in circular motions 
and you can really just feel with your fingers the places that you have hit or the places that you still need to get to. And I don't want the coat to be super thick because um, then you'll be able to see some of the wax, but I'm just trying to get kind of a good covering over the entire painting. Now this wax will really help protect the painting so that it does not need to be behind glass when you frame it. Now I'm doing this on these canvas boards, but some people do their paintings on paper and then they glue their paper to like a piece of wood. And you can also do this on your paper as well. So if you've attached a piece of watercolor paper to a piece of wood, then you can go ahead and add this Dorland's wax and the protective spray to it. And then it will also be protected on that. And you can just have it hanging on the wood um, without the glass in front of it as well. So I'm feeling with my fingers, I've got a pretty even covering. You can just kind of, you know, feel across your painting, make sure that there aren't any areas that do not feel waxy. Just trying to make sure that it's evenly spread out. That feels pretty good to me. And then I take my blow dryer and I'm just going to go pretty close because this isn't a super strong blow dryer. I'm gonna go pretty close over the entire thing. And what this does is it kind of um, warms the wax actually and melts it so that it, it gives it kind of a more even covering. And it kind of adds a little bit of extra shine in my opinion to the process. So I'm just gonna go over it. You can kind of feel too once it's there, it just kind of evens out the wax. Gives it a nice even coat. And then there too, you can, if you hold it up, Kind of to the light in certain directions again you can just make sure that you got all of the areas some areas might be a little bit too strong like right over my butterfly here it looks a little bit too waxy and since the wax has been nice and warmed i can it's very easy to spread around so i'm just kind of making sure i've got a nice smooth coat to my painting here okay so this one is done. I'm gonna let it dry. And then what you can do with a clean cloth afterwards is you can actually buff the painting just like you would waxing a car. So I may take like a clean cloth and just buff that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on my other pictures as well. Get those nice and waxed so that they can also be drying too. And now each of my paintings has been waxed it is sealed and is ready to go in an open frame. Now I could still frame behind glass if I wanted to, but they are protected enough that they do not need to be behind glass as well. So there you have it. What I do to seal my watercolor paintings and gouache paintings, these are gouache. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys learned a little something there and feel free to ask any questions and try this out on your own art as well. Thanks for watching.